Hi guys and gals, um, I'm back again today with another video. Um, I do apologise for my absence again on YouTube, um, but the weather in Cornwall has been so bad that it's been no lighting to do a video. Today was hit and miss, but I am back and I shall be back. Um, I promise, I pinky promise. Um, today I'm back with a Batiste dry shampoo and conditioner review and dry styler uh, review so it's all in one I was going to do separate videos but I figured if I do that nobody's gonna sort of want to watch separate ones if you get what I mean um, so I'll start off with a little story on how I got these products and who I was speaking to I spoke to Batiste on their Facebook um, messaging site um, you can find it by searching Batiste on Facebook. They put me in touch with a lovely company called JWPR. I'll try and link it down below so you can all check that site out because it's absolutely amazing and I think it's a brilliant um, opportunity for YouTubers to get in touch and even companies out there. Um, so yeah, this is not a paid review. It is not a influenced review by them. Um, I said to them, I want to give my honest opinion and I want to try some more of Batiste's dry shampoo range. So they sent me a sort of like press release of um, Batiste's range. So um, I didn't pay for them. They sent me them as a PR sample. Um, and they're full size, they're all 200 mils, with the exception of the dry styler. I'll show you what I've got, um, so yeah, let's get into it. The first thing I'm really excited about is the Batiste Dry Conditioner Smoothing Conditioning Mist, and that's a 200 mil. Sorry about the glare. It's a new one by Batiste and it smells awesome. I've used it over a couple of weeks now, um, so I do know that my hair's got better with it and my roots are really soft and even my bleached part up to the top here is really soft. Um, it's soft instantly and I don't even think this has got any um, silicones in it, so that is a big bonus for people that don't like silicone. Um, I will show you on a black flannel that it is not powdery. Um, it is very moisturising. So that's nothing there. As a dry shampoo or a dry conditioner, you'd expect some sort of powder, but there's none, literally nothing on there. And it smells awesome. As I said, it smells a little bit like Lynx, um, the men's aftershave range. But it is so moisturising. I can't get over how moisturising this is. This really surprised me. Um, dry feeling conditioning mist with argan oil in this. So it's kind of the big hype about the argan oil at the moment. This got it in as well, so I will be buying this again. I am super, super impressed. Um, if you've got bleached hair or coloured hair, this is absolutely brilliant for even after washing your hair, put some in and wait for a second and put your fingers through it and then style as usual. It's absolutely brilliant. Super impressed with that. And I think this retails at about Three ninety nine, and you can get it in most places. I know Sainsbury's do it. Um, I know Boots do it. Um, I'm not sure about Superdrug and that. I will check if you need me to. But yeah, this is widely available, and it's pretty good price to be honest, because this is a two hundred ml bottle. The next bottle of dry shampoo that I've got is the dry shampoo xxl volume and this is another 200 ml 
they've updated the bottles of these because they used to be this sort of pattern all over um, so this is kind of an updated review if you like um, I haven't used this one before um, and to be honest I'm mediocre about it there's not really for my hairstyle as you know I wear it in a quiff nearly every day well I do every day um, and it's not brilliant brilliant um, I'm not super impressed with this because of the powder texture give it a good shake I'll show you on the flannel again there you go and that's what I mean there's quite a lot of powder residue with it and when you rub your fingers through it it can be really powdery that ain't gonna come off on camera but there's a lot of powder and it's quite overpowering um, it's a bit like talcum powder feeling but a bit dry I don't know how to explain it it's really hard to explain um, but it does volumize your hair so it does do what it says on the tin um, people with long hair or people with um, hair that comes down their forehead um, or bobs that they like to sort of grunge out this would be good for you but I'm not super into it for a quiff styler um, I will be using it again for when I do have my hair sweeping in front of my forehead <laughs> um, but yeah I'm not super impressed but I would buy it again just for the fact I can use it to sort of mess my hair up and give it that like beach unwashed kind of clean feeling if that makes any sense to anybody I doubt if it does but anyway this retails about the same price as the dry shampoo uh, dry conditioner sorry about 3 99 again Sainsbury's and Boots and obviously you can get it off JWPR if you ask them um, I don't know whether what their prices are I'll have to double check and put them in the down bar but yeah these two this one is brilliant and this one is mediocre with me with the hair the way I've got it but I will be buying it again because obviously I like it for a messy like do for when I'm around the house um, and if I'm going somewhere formal I wear my hair down sometimes so yeah the next item I received was a powder styler yeah instant volumizer for maximum root boost you can use this in conjunction with this one because it's the same sort of thing it's the XXL volume again um, yeah I mean I'm impressed with it but I'm sort of again I'm mediocre because it's really powdery and unlike some of them some powder stylers they can be powdery but not over powdery if you know what I mean um, so I do like them but I like this more over this this one is good for retouching up if you're out and about or you want a bit of volume instantly kind of thing um, this one is good for styling as usual like when you've blow dried your hair put it in the roots and then gel over the top or wax or clay whatever you use um, this would be also brilliant for when you use um, or if you've got long hair um, or a bob again to mess it up or give you maximum root lift if you've got suffering from flat hair that won't do anything this is brilliant for giving you body and root lift but I won't be using it as much as my other powder stylers I'm afraid to say because it's quite a dusty formula um, and when you rub your hands through it you kind of get your hair tangled um, and it really hurts but some others don't do that so yeah. it might be different for you 
I am going to say I give this about 8 out of 10. So it is good, but it is very dusty and it does tangle your hair. So whether I'm using too much of it or too little or whatever, I, I don't know. I'll have to use it more and more because you don't need a lot of this product. So I haven't used a lot of it, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm super impressed with the dry conditioner. I'm mediocre 8 out of 10 for this guy. Um, the XXL Volume Dry Shampoo. It's okay, but it's powdery again. And the Batiste Dry Styling Powder, 8 out of 10, but it is powdery and it tangles your hair. Whether it'd be different with people with longer hair, because I know they, it sort of thins out if you've got longer hair, if that makes any sense to anyone again. But yeah, I'm pretty, overall, I'm really impressed with all of these. Um, so go and buy yourself some, because I do rate them. And at the end of the day, I give them an 8 out of 10, so they are good. Um, if they weren't good, I'd be giving them a 1 out of 10. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, and if you've got any questions about anything that I've mentioned in this video, please head over to the down bar and ask. Uh, like this video if you liked it or don't, whatever. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, I hope to speak to you all soon. Love you lots. Bye.